Welcome back to The Source. It's Friday. I'm Jack. And I'm Nat. And you're watching The Source on Made in Bristol TV. Still plenty to come on the show this evening. I'm talking to Gary Clayle about his new album, Nail It to the Mast. And next, Jack goes to talk to the students of the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School about their Christmas production, Alice in Wonderland. I'm here at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School with Jenny Stevens, the Artistic Director. So, right behind us are the rehearsals going on for Alice in Wonderland, your Christmas play. So, why, why this play? Why Alice in Wonderland? First well, of all? It's, uh, it's, it's timeless. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful family show. Last year we did Line the Witch in the Wardrobe, um, and it's very much in that tradition of being a great children's classic. Um, lots of potential for um, great character work. The audiences loved it. Last year, we completely sold out. There wasn't a single ticket left for the whole of the run. In fact, we had to put an extra performance in, and we are selling extremely strongly this year. So if you want to come and see it, book those Great. tickets. So we've all seen the film and we all know the book. How is this different or how, how are you well, going to show this? Really? Uh, I, think, uh, I think that stage productions of it are even more magical and special because there's that, there's that live thing going on. And so there's a real theatrical playfulness because you've got to, you can't just use camera angles yeah. um, to create growing and shrinking. Um, you can't, you have to be theatrically inventive. Mm. Um, and so it's Got, so it's got that quality to it. It's got a lot of charm in the music as well. Um, we use a lot of uh, music from from the period, really. We're using Offenbach, we're using uh, Gil uh, Gilbert and Sullivan uh, tunes, and, uh, and you've seen some of those happening. So there's a sort of like real richness to the whole event uh, of, of theatre. And my name's Amy Barnes. Amy Barnes. And what Hello. is your role in the play? I am playing the mother, the Queen of Hearts, and uh, a mouse school teacher and an oyster. Also, out of all four of them roles, which is your favourite? Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, yeah, why is that? Because she's evil. And bossy, <laughs> the boss as well. Yeah, yeah totally. She, she wants special. to kill everyone. She wants to chop everyone's head off. She it's does. Brilliant. We saw earlier in your thing. You <laughs> and she nearly to... succeeds. Nearly, so... but not quite. Well, you have to find out. You're Alice. I am. Yes. How does that feel? Yeah, the main great. Role. It's good fun. It's really good fun. And um, just get to play a little girl every day. So just play a little girl every yeah, day. Yeah, it's quite good fun. <laughs> great. So why why do you enjoy the role so much? Is it hard? Um, it kind of is. It's really energetic. Yeah. You need to be really on top sure, for him all yeah. the time. Um, but more than anything, it is just good fun. You're just playing games all day, basically. Yeah. Every scene's kind right of behind a different right game. Games. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's all, a bit, it's all a bit mad. What's your um, role? I play uh, young Jack, okay. which is like a friend of Alice's family. Okay. Um, I play a magpie. Nice. And then Captain Jack of Hearts, so oh. he's sort of like the bad guy. But um, I think kids are going to probably like him because he's yeah. a bit, he's a bad guy, but he's got a little bit of a soft side oh. to him. Nice. So, so out of all of those roles, which is your favourite? Uh, Captain Jack, probably, because he's got a sort of, um, sort of like that sort of stars yeah. character to him. So he's a bit of like an old sort of English general. Maisie. So Maisie, you're a graduate. Yep. Um, you did the costume design course, I believe. Yes, yeah? yes, costume making as costume well. Costume making, yeah. that's the one. Yes. So is it difficult to graduate a course like that? Yeah, it's really difficult because there's only four people in a year. So oh, wow. yeah, getting into the school is quite big, but also we do so many shows a year. That Amazing, so you're doing this show, I believe yes. you're doing the costume design for Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I'm costume supervising it, so yeah. Amazing. And you've been asked to come back to yes. do this one. I've been hired back by the school, which is yes. really lovely actually to come that's back. Amazing. So to do a show like this must be really fun for costume design because it's yes, very great. kind of weird. Yeah, the fantasy it? in it makes it really interesting. Yeah. It's kind of a lot of prop work as well. Yeah. Lots of animals to make, lots of tails. So. Yeah. The nation, welcome, the nation, welcome, the nation to our merry men. To this our merry men. It is by the nation that we represent. We represent to welcome the nation, welcome the nation, welcome the nation to our merry men. To this our merry
you never actually knew that Alice was Scottish. I had no idea, Jack. Alice is from Scotland. Now that's better than your Bristolian It is. I'm working on it, but you, I need to, a bit more practice, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it'll come. So really great to catch up with the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School. Incredible. They're, they're great from there, aren't they? They are. They are fantastic. It must be so hard for them to get in because about tw no, 2,000 people apply a yeah, year. Yeah, and they work really, really hard. I caught they up do. with one of the cast of Swallows and Amazons, who we'll see next week in the show, and she came straight out of Bristol Albic Theatre School into that production. That's great. Yeah, fantastic. That is really good. So next up, Jack went to meet a local musician and artist, Gary Clayle, to talk about his new album, Nail It to the Mast. I'm here with the legendary Gary Clayle, musician from Bristol. Tell us a bit about yourself, Gary. Well, I've been around the world. I grew up in the Bristol area. I grew up in Easton. Okay. I had a very checkered past ground. And uh, yeah, I've had a very interesting life. So where did music start with you? How did it all Started when my mum got divorced from my dad and I, my mum bought an off license in the Easton Road area. Okay. Of, uh, <clears throat> Eastern and uh, I started watching all the guys coming in for the drinks and the prostitutes coming in and I could hear the reggae music about four doors up on a Friday and Saturday night and I was just kind of focused in and I, I just thought I've got to listen and I used to go over and basically hang around when I was 13 years of age Wow! and I used to watch the guys on the microphone and I used to watch them go yeah no 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 I thought wow and I kind of was drawn to it so obviously you've done a lot, but what have you got going on right now? Because you have a new album coming out. I got a new album coming out, the first yeah. one for since 1996. Wow. But the ones in the past were made by our new sound in like different members of Tackhead yeah. and whatever, and they kind of they're they're kind of legendary records in a funny yeah. sort of way. Okay. They're, they're known. There was Human Nature. There was Beef Hello Can You Go. There's so many on there, and I I never really kind of studied it or anything. And four years ago, I met this manager who designed laptops for Toshiba and he okay. arrived I was living on a boat outside of Bath I was working in a homeless shelter okay. and he just turned up and he said to me why are you not making records and I said I think people have had enough of me All right. and they're a bit too serious they're yeah. a bit too full-on and he said to me we can make an album I said how he said well I'm a geek and you're a talented <laughs> imaginationary person and the whole thing kicked off and it's called Nail It to the Mask and I sent Nail it up to, to this mast. Nail It to the Mask, yeah, and I okay. sent it up to Abbey Road, which has got some old connections with, and a guy called Kevin Grace just went wow. And it got released I think three or four days ago on download. And it's coming out on CD in the next few days. Sounds like it's gonna be a really, really good album. No, it's great. It's gonna be a great album then, in fact. Thank you very much for the chat. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. And everyone, make sure you're going to buy Nail It to the Mast. Good to meet another local artist as part of our Music Fridays. Yes, very interesting man as well. Yep, fantastic. Well, that's it for the show today. If you enjoyed it, please send us a tweet at Made in Bristol TV, hashtag The Source. Or you can send us your stories, The Source at madeinbristol.tv. We're starting to hear from you now, so it's really fantastic. Keep your stories coming in and we'll come out and cover them as much as we can. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for our weekend omnibus at 6.30pm right here on Made in Bristol TV. That's all the best bits from the week that's happened. So yes. we'll We'll be here again tomorrow and of course all next week. Have a great evening and weekend. We'll see you soon.